Okay, so today we're going to do wall stands. So these are awesome for dogs, especially the dogs like Alfie with really long backs because wall stands, as well as they're quite a fun little trick, um, they also help with the lower back and also the hip flexors. And yeah, lower back dogs, this is a really great exercise for them too, as well as it being quite fun. So first of all, you're going to find a surface, a wall or a fence that is, um, you don't mind your dogs having their paws on it. Um, obviously they have claws, so they could scratch paint depending on how precious you are about your property or your house. Um, so this is our old fence, which I like to use. Um, it won't fall down, which is great. Um, so first of all, you lure your dog into position in front of it, and this you need to lure up. Yes, good. And even though he's on the side at the moment, I don't really mind. I'm just gonna lure up the fence. Yes, good boy. When you're luring up the fence, and if they don't follow the treat, then maybe you need to up the treat, and then you can start bringing the treat down to really try and, so you might end up going up and down the fence. So again, try and get them straight on. You can sometimes lure them into this position and help a little bit with their bum. And then you're just gonna lure up the fence. Yes, good boy. And try and get them square on. Good boy. And again, we're going to get them straight on and lure up the fence. He doesn't want to go straight on, does he? Hey, Alfie, good boy. Let's try and get straight on, lure up the fence. Yes, good, good boy. And then you can start to put a word into it when they do it um, more often. So again, I'm just holding his back to help him bring round to be straight. Then we're gonna lure up the fence. Good boy. And again, I'm not putting pressure here. I'm just placing it, good boy. Nice. And again, treat. We're going to lure him round. Then we're going to put a word to it. Wall. Wall stand. Good boy. And then off. Nice. And again, you can start to take the treats away once you can do it more often. But I really, you really need a, a straight on approach rather than a side approach is what he's doing now. So again, I'm just going to place my hand here to help direct, lure the treat up onto the wall. <laughs> I don't want him to be on my hand. Good boy. Let's try again. Huh? Hey. All right. Alfie. So I want him to be straight on. So I'm luring, just holding my hand here to help him be more straight on. Luring up the wall. <laughs> That's okay. Alfie. Yes, good boy. So it's quite hard on the dog, especially this is, a, like I said, a really good workout for their lower back. And eventually you can take away the lure um, and just gesture and point and then start to put a word into it. But it's really important that the dog goes straight on to the wall stand, so have enough room to be able to do that. He keeps moving his bum to the side like a crab. So, luring Alfie. Straight on. <laughs> And then luring up, yes, good boy. Okay, and then again, luring round, and wall stand, wall stand. Yes, okay, good boy. Um, so yeah, wall stands are really good for the dogs, especially with that lower, um, which will get lower back issues if you don't tighten up their core muscles. And it's quite a fun trick, um, which you can use um, for patting down your dog if he's making a robbery or something, you know, you can make so much with tricks. So it's lots and lots of fun. Hey, Alf. 